We see the graphics on the TV feed say SOC, state of charge. What does this mean? Well, state of charge basically means how much energy is remaining in the battery. As these are electric vehicles, the driver needs to manage how much energy he uses during a stint in the race. This is very much like your mobile phone where you see the bars on your battery going down during the race. The driver needs to be very careful that he ends the stint with enough performance available in the battery to be able to lap quickly. When you watch Formula E on the TV, with the onboard shots, we often get this very complicated graphic in the top right of the screen. At first, this seems to offer almost too much information as to what's going on with the car at that point in time. But if we start to break down this display, we find out it gives us some very important information both in the car's instantaneous position on the track, but equally what the driver is doing strategically with power and energy. We take the simple things first, along the bottom, to the driver name, their country flag and car number. To the left of that is the car's current position in the race. Above this, there's a series of rings which gives a situation. Then, below the central rings, we see the map setting. This is the power setting the driver has selected on the steering wheel. The driver has different power settings they can use, from full power for qualifying through to maps during the race which trade off power against energy usage. We can see the car's instantaneous power output in two ways. First of all, from the vertical bar on the right, which shows us between 0 and 200 kilowatts how much power the motor is putting out, and also displayed as a figure slightly to the left of that. Battery usage or energy remaining is displayed as a percentage both in the centre of the rings and as a battery graphic on the bottom right. The driver will have a target of how much energy they can use per lap in order to meet their ideal pit stop time. If the driver is over or under that target, we see that displayed as a delta figure in the bottom right. If the driver is using too much energy, they'll have to manage their energy usage in order to be able to stop at the ideal point. If the driver is under their energy usage, they're able to actually use more power either from the throttle or from a different map setting in order to make the most of the battery remaining. Above this is a series of rings giving us the car's instantaneous performance on track. Around the outside is the car's speedo, reading from 0 to 225 km per hour, which is the cap top speed for the Formula E car. The next ring in is the throttle position, which shows us how far down the driver is on the throttle pedal. Clearly, if the driver is going for a fast lap, they want to be flat on the throttle as quickly as possible as they exit corners. In the race, if the driver needs to manage energy, you'll find that the driver lifts off the throttle before they apply the brakes, coasting that short distance before the corner. This is the best way to maximise energy without disrupting lap times during the race. Then we see the brake display to the right of these rings. This shows us how hard the driver is pushing on the brakes. Clearly, if the driver is going for a fast lap or trying to overtake, they want to brake as late and as hard as possible. Both the throttle and the brake then feed into the G-force sensor, which is around the central ring. This shows us both the acceleration and the braking the driver is feeling as he goes around the track, but equally the lateral forces as the driver is cornering. To the right of these displays is the gear position sensor. As much as the Formula E car is an electric vehicle, it uses a gearbox to multiply the torque from its relatively small motor. They have five gears available, but no reverse gear. So how do they charge the cars? Well, the cars are charged individually by generators in the pit garages. Uh, these generators are powered by glycerin provided by Aquafuel. Glycerin? Really? Glycerin is used as a fuel because it has much lower emissions than an equivalent diesel generator. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like, to subscribe to this channel and to leave your comments below.